So I've tried out cute fish, just like I tried out dipping and jingoas, and there's something I want to say. First of all, let me say that they do look pretty, like all of them, they're very interesting. Dipping, as I said, had some design issues that were minor. Uh, I think that Cutefish really does a lot of things right. It has a good design. It's very cool that they have a, a system tray that's collapsed. It's all of the settings you might need uh, in just one place with also the ability to, sw to switch to the dark mode. However, when I said all of the things you might need, I was lying because it actually is lacking many of the features you would need for a daily basis usage. And whenever I go through the set of application that ships with it, I see that there are many features lacking, just like in the rest of the shell. Uh, the application list is very uh, simple and you cannot even like drag applications to the dock to add them. There are many, many things lacking. And as much as I enjoy the prettiness of cute fish, whenever I see a person recommending to use it on a chat or realize that it's such a bad idea because you're recommending something because you probably haven't used it or if you have you're not using it daily but it looks pretty you have seen a video of it and it looks pretty so you assume that it also works nicely for the user but it doesn't because it's still in development. Uh, there's not like a release official version which you can use nicely and be happy with it. It lacks many features and that makes sense because it's not finished. And why would you recommend a product that it's not finished yet? Just to make you an example, I opened settings and I searched for a way to change the desktop layout, sorry, the keyboard layout. There's none. Like you cannot change the keyboard layout. And that's a big issue, like a seriously big one. But I understand it, like it's a development version, it's uh, a beta. I wouldn't expect, uh, expect everything to be there. But I would also expect people not recommending distributions that don't ship with a way to change the keyboard layout because it's a must have. Also for Jingo S, I've seen many, many people saying, I should try out Jingo S or you should try out Jingo S. And then they install Jingo S and they're like, uh, what do I do now? Where is this? Where is that? And it's not there because they are still working on it. When uh, like Jingo S themselves have said that the product is not 3D. So you shouldn't try to go out and say, yeah, it's pretty, so it's 3D. That's a common misconception that I always see uh, linking the beauty of something to its actual uh, usefulness. The fact that something is pretty doesn't mean that it's also useful. It's pretty, nobody argues with that, but you wouldn't be able to enjoy that beauty on a daily basis because you would be angry at the small stuff, the bugs that are still there. And oftentimes when I see people saying kitty should be prettier just like cute fish, I understand it. But you also have to realize that the lack of prettiness of plasma compared to those kind of projects, maybe dipping the first version of it, which was in my opinion prettier and cute fish, the lack of prettiness compared to those really correlates to the fact that we offer so many more features. It's very hard to design a very pretty theme when you have a giant set of applications that often uses different ways of styling against uh, like cute fish, which has four applications that were built with the idea of being having that style in mind from the scratch. That's so much harder. And uh, sometimes, like most of the times, you cannot have both beauty and perfect usability. Because when you have one, you kind of have to sacrifice the other. That said, we 
try to do our best with Plasma. We are improving our style. We are doing Blue Ocean. We are making things a bit more transparent. And again, since Plasma is used by so many people, we have a responsibility to not change the design from one day to another completely and go like full transparency. Why is that? It might look pretty, but we also need to think about the responsibility we have towards people that do not like transparency, but like being able to write text on, a, on any background very easily. Like maybe older people wouldn't really like to have such transparency if that means that the contrast, uh, the contrast of the text uh, compared to the background is diminished. We also need to think about those people and find a compromise, which we try to do. We made things more transparent, but we also allowed people to make everything opaque if they want or, you know, uh, adaptive so you can have some and some depending on uh, whether you have a window maximized or not. So do try Cutfish. I, this is like a good suge suggestion, I think. Try it, see what's lacking, make a good list and see um, say, okay, these things are my deal breakers. If I don't have them, I won't use Catfish. Then follow the development and as soon as all of those goes off, go off, you can use it. And I think that's a better idea than just, not only you can use it, but also I can recommend it to other people. And I think that's a better idea than trying it right now and saying, okay, I want to use this because it's pretty or recommending to others when it's not ready. Then let me say one more thing, which is I'm slightly tired of Chinese companies taking Plasma and making uh, everything like reinventing the wheel from scratch. I'm a bit tired, like I've seen Deeping do it, I've seen Catfish, I've seen Jingoes, and sure they all have their own different thing. Jingoes specifically being built for tablets uh, justifies it a bit more, but when I see Catfish I think, okay, I still have the patch to make the panel uh, look floating for KD Plasma and as soon as that lands what's the point of Catfish like I could install a Plasma theme that looks just like it with uh, all of the transparency and stuff I could make the panel slightly floating just like it is uh, in um, Catfish and then Plasma is so much more filled with all the features you would need and sure, it's not as refined because again, it's easier to refine a product with very few features, but you can actually use KD Plasma on a daily basis right now. So yeah, I, I wish that Catfish, instead of like rewriting everything from scratch like they're doing, contributed to KD Plasma instead to make a distribution with the exact same look but actually um, benefiting from all the features that Kitty Plasma already has. That's it.